We've uh, offered the shadows and spirits of the state capitol to her for 18 years now. And um, we've had over 10,000 people in those 18 years participate in that tour. It's a really special event, only held during the Halloween time. We recreate the historic lighting to give you a sense of what this building was like in 1905 when the building opened to the public. What it does, it doesn't per, you know, pick up on any ghost stories you know, that might be rumors throughout uh, the history of the building. What it does is it brings to life historical people who would have had a connection to the history of the Capitol. For instance, we have Clara Euland, who was a woman suffragist, who was really a strong proponent of getting the women's right to vote. And that uh, portrays her in 1915 as a historical spirit that shows up to um, kind of visit with the, the visitors in the capital. There's also a Civil War veteran. We have an artist, John Lafarge, who was uh, part of decorating the, uh, the wall coverings or the paintings in the Supreme Court. And so what we're trying to do is really give a sense of uh, the history of the building, but also to bring to life some of the important people in, in its uh, past and its uh, 106 or seven years of history. Well, we have, you know, in a given year, seven to eight hundred people. You know, and a lot of that is just based on the size of groups we can accommodate at any given time each year. But um, I think a lot of this becomes word of mouth. It's kind of a neat experience people have when they first come to visit, and it's a place where I think people don't usually get a chance to see the building lit as it was originally. And so that's kind of a neat feature, a unique way to uh, set the capital for the visitors.